All right. I'm going to try this again because I have made some terrible decisions. And on top of that, some of the Odyssey has changed for me. Uh, for example, you'll see I have one of one Spike Factory here. And sadly, that, that is not the case in terms of how many Spike Factories you're actually allowed. You're allowed two. You're allowed to have two Spike Factories. But for some reason, I was only given the opportunity to have one. And I don't know why. So, for that, and for the difficulty that this map entails, and for my poor choices in, in, in tower selection, I'm going to be doing this. Which absolutely sucks. Believe me, I know. I feel the pain myself. But, see, now all of a sudden I can have two. Or maybe I could always have two and I was just a dumbass. Maybe, maybe that's the case. Anyway, we're going to rethink a lot of things. Except for this. Oh, not going to lie. This is probably one of the more difficult odysseys I've I've had the, the displeasure of, of playing. Right. So... I'm not gonna lie, I've seen other people play this. And they do a much better job than me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but to be fair, I just stuck with what I know, and what I know is not the solution. The solution is heavy hitters and big costs. I'm talking helis, I'm talking super monkeys. I'm, I'm talking like fucking big things right in the in the one thing in the one video i watched or at least started ninja and alchemist weren't even chosen which scares me a little because <laughs> that's my bread and butter right there that's my bread and butter but to be fair considering each map can only have a banana farm and then three towers if two of those towers are ninja alk and to be fair, that combo is typically for early game and not really all that useful in late game. Uh, I can I can see why people sort of passed over it. So then, I would want probably some planes. I don't even know at this point. Let's just let's just see. Maybe some planes. But a plane's even good. Oh. Planes are good if you pair them up with something that's strong early game. So, I will hold on to them for now. Sniper, sadly, also falls... I've, I've realised now that my OG strategy of Ninja Alk going into a Sniper combo... Realistically only works if you can place as many towers as you want and have as many towers as you want. But, in this situation, it does not work out too well. Surely Dart Monkeys are still good. They're cheap and effective early game. Oh, man. And then... They even use, like, subs and boats and things, but... I don't know if I want that. Like, what? A sub and a boat? And then... I don't even know what else. What else would I use? I suppose a mob eliminator would always be good. Handy for the... The big bad. Maybe? I don't know, man. I'm just going to experiment with a bunch of things. This this Odyssey is going to be an absolute mishmash of, of a bunch of different things that I've been trying, so pff, fucking brace yourself. But I will be releasing the, the answers to both part one and part two in the one video here, so yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens. Fuck it! <laughs> <sighs> right. Now, last time I tried this, I used Prince of Darkness, but maybe I'll use Archmage instead. Oh, but Archmage requires me to get all the way to Archmage to actually get Shimmer and things like that. 
and there's no purple pop and power there. So I'd need to either pair it up with something that can pop purples, or... I don't even know what else. Um, so let's try that. Now, if I'm going to be an Archmage, it's going to be on top here somewhere. It's got to be big and loud and proud. So let's put you there and hope for the best. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. I know it's not the greatest position at the moment, but when it becomes the Archmage, it should be a hell of a lot better. And I'm going to be trying to do this with, you know, like, two towers rather than... Well, two attacking towers rather than, like... Okay, saved us a couple lives anyway. Rather than going for all four on each map, because I think that's where I messed up. My typical strategy involves, you know, purposefully using less towers on earlier maps so that on the later maps, oof, just in time, on the later maps I've actually got reserve to help me out and sort of get me through the difficult parts. But, uh... Yes, so that's that's where I'm finding difficulty right now, and quite a lot of it, I might add. So, oh, saving lives where we can. So on these easier maps, I should start off with something uh, typically not good to start off a map with, but then something that can sort of explode into something amazing later if you give it enough time. Okay, we can surely wait for that. Uh, I guess not. Alright, so we get Wall of Fire, then we're pretty much sorted for a while. Which means I think we can then proceed to get, I don't know, Banana Farm or something? We'll see, we'll see. Wall of Fire, then we can go into Banana Farm, then we can go into something big. Maybe a plane? No, a plane's not consistent enough. Maybe a heli. Honestly, I don't use helis all that much, so, uh, beautiful. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting for sure. Alright, a couple lives lost here and there, but now we've got Wall of Fire on our side. Beautiful. Should absolutely roast for a bit. Cool. Hmm, okay. Well, so far so good. Why is that balloon normal? Oh, it wasn't. It was just the, the crown of flowers was behind it, not in front of it. That's weird. Hmm. I wonder what causes that. Anyway. Oh my god, we're letting more things through. Cool, cool. Oh, okay, we're gonna need some sort of sharp popping power soon. I'm going for the most expensive ones I can get right now. And in my book, that is Heli Pilot. But I don't. I wanna get the Heli Pilot first then. Because Banana Farm's gonna suckle all my money away. Okay. Good, you hit all the right balloons there. Can you do it again? Oh, you beautiful son of a bitch. Amazing. Amazing. Alright, so let's place this guy down somewhere. Where do we want him? Who knows? Does it matter? It might. Nah, it probably doesn't. Alright. There we go. Now we've got something else. This is so nice. Okay. Now we've got something for purples. We're going to need to give it camera detection because our wizard will not have it anytime soon. So let's go quad. You know me. I'm lazy as shit. So pursuit. And then I think we have to go for a dart ship or something. Because, I mean, if we're dealing with extra Moabs, then uh, that's going to be a big problem for us. If we're choosing anything other than a damaging boy. Or maybe Moab Shove might actually be useful, but I don't know. 
wouldn't hedge my bets. So let's stick with our banana farm. That'll that'll go next for sure. But uh, bing bada boom, nice. And then we'll, we'll feed straight to the money realm. Nice, cool, love that, love that. It's working well. These two are synergizing quite well with each other, surprisingly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we'll go for marketplace, because I think we're all right for now. Maybe we should get like a dragon's breath or something for... No, not a dragon's breath, a fucking... Uh, these. Of course we need these. All right, screw the marketplace for now. We'll come back to that. Or the central market, whatever it's called. No, it is marketplace. Central market's the one after. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, mastery. I like it, I like it. Is it enough to pop the big boy, though? I guess we will find out soon enough. I mean, technically, because it's scrapyard, we don't need to pop it per se as we need to, uh... Oh, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We just need to get it down to Serams, because then this can do all the heavy lifting. Or should I say the heavy squashing? Ba-boom! All right, easy. Nice and chill. Let's get that marketplace. Because we are gonna need money now. Like, real money. Okay. Uh, razor rotors would do quite well. It would help us with camo leads for the time being. Uh, arcane spike, I think, would be a more permanent addition to our arsenal, though. So I think we go for arcane spike. And then central market. And then... For everything else. <laughs> But at least with Arcane Spike, our wizard... Well, I mean, our wizard could always pop leads. In fact, it was our only lead popping power. But... Whatever. Whatever. We just need our helicopter boy here to pop all the purples. Because once we get Arcane Spike and Archmage, that will be its only weakness. Okay, so we'll save that for this. Come on. It'll happen. Just gotta give it time. Come on, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh, come on. Are you serious with that? Okay, fine. We'll get... We'll get something. We'll get something. Let's get Razor Rotors. Might make all the difference. Definitely popped it sooner. And got onto the next one sooner. Okay, I'm liking this already. Good change, good change. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Keep it going, and... Bang! Easy. Easily done. Right, Arcane Spike should sort out round 45. Because I believe round 45 is... Fortified... B uh, Z Moabs. That's the word. I know the word. <laughs> Fortified mobs. Alright, so let's get this. And now we're working purely towards Central Market, just for the time being. And, uh. Indeed. I guess we'll see. Okay! Perfect. That is exactly how I wanted this round to go. Cool. So, here's the thing about this Odyssey. I've, I've, I have also learnt what is happening with these rounds. So essentially, the rounds are changed. We know this. Starting at round 35, we get to see a Moab. Then round 40, we get to see a Moab per usual and a fortified Moab. And then by round 45, as you just saw there, we get four fortified Moabs on top of what we normally would get. And so, if you take that idea and you apply it to BFBs, that's what the next five, that's what the next three 
rounds of five will be like. So essentially, round 50 here will be a BFB on top of whatever round 50 normally is, a couple of Moabs or some shit, right? So there's our BFB, proven right. And then round 55 will be a fortified BFB on top of whatever normally shows up on 55 or whatever, right? And so on and so forth until you get to uh, four fortified... Oh, you don't have camera detection, right, that makes sense. Four fortified um, BFBs. And then by that point, can we clean this up? I imagine we can. Oh my god, we're actually doing it. Wow. It's kind of impressive. Honestly, I undercut the heli a lot. Oof. Okay, didn't 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 exactly do it, but yeah. Also, I found out something absolutely game-changing for me at least in terms of uh, these odysseys. Um you can officially now sell and rebuy things without taking it away from your uh, from your pool, which I thought was very nice. Because that was not the case the last time I sold and rebought something in this game. So let's test that. Theory now? No, let's not test it now. Let's try and organize crunch time to be a little more useful. Maybe we can get it to crunch three ceramics, and if we can, that would be ideal. So, like, there? Well, that's not three ceramics at all, but maybe we are better off like this now? Who knows? I don't. Nope. Holy shit, 50. Hmm. Hmm. So what we need is something with a bit more camera detection. Or with a bit more damage. So let's try this. So if we sell that, we can get the dart ship... And then we can place this back. I'm confused. I think that's the case. Which, you know, I've been asking for that for many, many odysseys for now. By this point. So let's see if this actually works. This is more of a test than anything. Because if this doesn't work, I am restarting this. But... I have hope that it will. So we'll see. We'll see. Because what would... Well. From the last time I, I found this out in a horrible fashion. Essentially what would happen is if you sold a tower and then placed it again. It would count that as you using two towers. Rather than the one coming back. Which is completely unfair, in my opinion, but that's that's what happened. I can't control that, that's just the case. But maybe now they've changed it and made it nicer, which I would appreciate if that were true. But we'll see. This is a proof of concept, but if it works, then it's also a very good proof of concept. <laughs> Alright, camo leads, we've got that with this guy. Good to know. 59 should be a breeze, thank you. Alright. Here we go. What's more expensive? Definitely the uh, Apache Prime. Alright. So this seems to be chill, I like it. The difficulty realistically only comes with... Uh, with the rounds that are five between, as we all know. Okay, but this is good. Because I tried to do a similar thing with a wizard and a sniper. I don't know why I chose a fucking sniper. Not exactly known for their high DPS. Um, well, not in the situation I put them in. But still, I, I chose lesser, more inferior towers to try this with. And it didn't work out too well. And I had to use four towers. But now I'm thinking if I can get away with just two, 
or two DPS and one farm, then I'll do so much better. Like, infinitely better. And I'll potentially not get stuck on the third map in, which was horrible for me. You know, my mind just sort of went blank. I had a bit of a midlife crisis and then, uh, I'm back, baby, I'm back. Admittedly very broken and defeated by this Odyssey already, but I'm not stopping because of that. Oh, Archmage. Cool, so now you've got the Shimmer, because that's what Archmage does. You just pick up a random third tier upgrade from a path you've never chosen before along the way, just for funsies. So, uh, I think we'll be good. I think. I don't know that for certain. I wish I could say for certain that we'd be good, but I realistically have no way of knowing that. So, yeah, I guess we'll find out. If we can afford an Apache Prime in time, we might be able to. Now that I know I can sell and rebuy my, well, I don't know that for a fact. This is still a proof of concept. And I've said that so much. But that's because it's true. All right, so realistically, we only need 30,000, because then we can just sell this to buy Apache Prime. But look at that. These two are able to take down a fortified ZOMG on their own. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. So I have faith they can finish off the rest of this game. Surely. Okay, 20,000's good. It's not 30,000 good, but... It's close, it's close, you know. Uh huh. Okay, only 5,000 to go. But yeah, this, this seems much better now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit of an idiot at times. And so, my apologies if I release the first video without really thinking about what I'm gonna do in the second one. I do that quite often, and most of the time it does work out for me, but obviously this time, not so much. All right, now we'll just see. Proof of concept, like I said. Okay, round 80 should be the bad plus the ZOMG. I think these two powerhouses should be able to handle it. Oh yeah. And by the way, the, the BAD is most certainly nerfed. There is no way a BAD is that weak. Alright. If we've got four banana farms, then this has worked out incredibly well. If not, I'm restarting. So far, so good. There it is. Oh my god, they finally fucking fixed it. Alright, cool. Oh, my mind is racing. Anyway, let's just try this out and see how we go. Because boat on this map is insane because of its massive radius. So let's start off with a boat and just forge a path. Forge of empires. I don't know. Words. Words that work together, words that fit together, words that make it sound like I know what I'm doing. Has that, uh, has that convinced you? No? Well, damn it. Anyway, I'm hoping to get away with, once again, only using two towers for damage on this map. Because if we can do that, if we can just save one more tower on this map, which is a fairly generous, fairly... I don't want to say easy, but that's what I'm thinking. Fairly easy map. Then perhaps we stand a chance. Right. Do I want to get anything else before I go straight for a, a village? A village? A banana farm? I don't think so. We'll see how we go. But I think we'll be all right. We've got some pretty good lines. 
but maybe I do want Grape Shot or something. I think, honestly, a lot of this Odyssey depends on when and how quickly you can get a solid banana farm up. So I'm gonna try and hold off until I actually need it. Or not actually need it, when... I'm, I'm gonna try and hold off until we actually need an upgrade for the boat. And by the looks of it, we don't. Cool. Very nice. Very nice, I love that. So now, bare minimum we can get two upgrades at the top here and then focus on the boat. Because I don't think we'll be able to go straight to Marketplace. God, that would be a legendary idea. Being able to go straight to Marketplace off of a 0, zero, zero. Imagine if that was possible. Maybe it was possible if you had enough money and it's on like round one and you've placed a super monkey. But... Unheard of for the most part. But this is surprisingly going well. Holy shit, we haven't lost a single life. Boats are dope. Why have I not been using more boats in my Odysseys, honestly? I think a big part about why I don't do so well in Odysseys is because, first of all, I'm stuck within my own little bubble of like, oh, ninja elk snipers are my favorite combo. I'm going to pretty much solely use those to get my win, right? And don't get me wrong, it's also a good combo. It's not like it doesn't work as a, as a team or anything, but there are better, more suitable options depending on the map and depending on the game modes, so I need to expand my repertoire a little more. So let's get double shot just to make sure things die quickly. Okay, now we need camo detection, which means we're placing our plane. Hmm, I'm struggling to think of a time where we could easily implement our marketplace idea. It sounds like I'm a uh, I'm advertising on Facebook or some shit when I say that out loud, <laughs> but uh, it's it's difficult to think of a time when it's appropriate for us to be able to buy a marketplace upgrade for the, the, the for the banana farm if you didn't if you didn't catch on already. Okay, but so far so good. I think never miss is solid, but we should probably go for marketplace first. So this guy can hit camos. As you can see, <laughs> very clearly demonstrated, of course, of course. I think going for a marketplace now, though, is actually a death sentence. Because 35 is a Moab, yeah? So... Ooh, it's going to be a tough one. Because it's a regular Moab. We do need this, though. It's a regular Moab. That is my biggest concern, weirdly. But if we get this now, I think we might be good. Might be. I don't know. Genuinely no clue. Could not tell you if that is factual information. The only slight concern I do have is our camo detection will be lacking until we can get a spectre. But I think for right now, we will beat 35. Without too much difficulty. So I'm going for the marketplace. Fuck it. You know, nine times out of ten when I say that, I'm usually very wrong and I will regret whatever decision I make. So, we'll see if this marketplace is a good idea or not. Luckily though, with the heat seeking, never miss targeting stuff, and this being a really long map, it does give us a lot of time to be able to clean up any mess I make. So, we'll see how we go. I potentially might need a destroyer at some point here as well. Okay, so there's the, there's the Moab. Once again, I'd like to remind everyone, nothing has changed about the Moab other than it's showing up earlier. However, that is enough to do that to us, which is very scary. Okay, have you made your money's worth back? Ooh, almost, almost. Ooh, that bites. Um, 2,950. There's no way we can afford that in time, is there? Alright, let's try it. Sell, destroyer, rebuy, or settle for a 202. Just for now, just for now. 
Our standards have not dropped. Of course not. We're just temporarily setting ourselves back on purpose. That is what is happening. Right, can we handle a fortified in the same way that we just handled that one? I don't know, genuinely. But the problem is, my priority should be on getting the Spectre, but I want the aircraft carrier next. The thing is, I can read the future. If I don't get the aircraft carrier, and I go for the Spectre, we'll die before I get it. And if I go for the Spectre, and don't go for the aircraft carrier, then... we could potentially die to Moabs. AKA, the fortified Moab showing up next round. Not that one. Yeah, that one. So we'll see how we go, I guess. Because it's not bad. It definitely shreds, but the fortifications on it are pretty rough. Oh, nice, that is beautiful. Okay, so now we can get aircraft carrier, but I want the Spectre. We've got 4,000, so realistically we only need 20 grand. But within four rounds, I doubt it. I mean, worst case scenario, we can sell this as well. So seven grand. So what, 17,000 is all we need? You know, just a casual $17,000. What's so hard about getting that? Oh boy. Yeah, we're not going to afford that, are we? It's certainly going to be pushing it. That's for sure. Oh no, that's the end of the round. Shit. Cool. Hi. Who invited these losers to the party? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, this is only good. Yep. Okay, cool. Cool. Right. I mean, we've survived this far, but here's, here's the deal. Right, okay, this is what I was trying to say before, but I obviously didn't get out in English. Um, if I buy the aircraft carrier, yes, that will deal with this round. I am confident it will. My problem is that I won't have suitable camo detecting popping power to deal with rounds that have, say, camo ceramics or camo rainbows or camo regro rainbows or some wacky bullshit like that. But, as we can tell, I'm not at 17,000, and so I can't sell these two to go straight for a Spectre, so... Aircraft Carrier it is. And we'll just hope that by the time the issue arises, that, uh... We will potentially have enough to sell everything to buy a Spectre. Because Spectre can handle so much bullshit. It's amazing. It's honestly amazing. Right, leads, obviously, our friend here's person, personal touch, that's, that's the word, found it out, figured it out, it's there in there, it's in my brain. Right, so now, I believe we are capable of selling everything we have to get a Spectre, and we're even, in fact, working on not having to sell everything we have to get a Spectre, which is, which is cool, love that, love that idea, really support that one. That one's a solid one. But yes, if we can if we can beat this map with only two towers as well, I will be very pleased. It's it's literally this is what this Odyssey is training everyone for. I say training, like we're going to some sort of war in like the year 2050 and BTD6 will be the only leading troops to actually do any damage, you know? I'm taking it way too seriously, but this is this is essentially the lesson that Ninja Kiwi's trying to trying to say to us, right? It's not about it's not necessarily about fulfilling a quota, right? Because the quota is four towers per map, five maps, right? It's not necessarily about that. It's about picking a solid starting tower that can lean into something much more powerful and having that combo work so well that you don't need to meet the quota. I say that like I'm super inspirational and full of wisdom, 
but I'm I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm I'm not full of wisdom, that's for certain. Right, okay. So now we've got the the best money maker we can get safely. We've got a spectre which can deal with most of our problems. And then we can get this fifth tier aircraft cat flar <laughs> words. Aircraft I was gonna say aircraft carrier flagship. Which technically isn't wrong. It's just a hybrid of these two upgrades. So, we're gonna get our carrier flagship. That's what it's called. I'm not drunk, I swear. I've, I've admittedly, this Odyssey has put me through the ringer a, a few times. That's, a, that's the wrong word to use, isn't it? It's put me through hell. Yeah, that fits a bit better. It's put me through hell quite a lot today. And I'm not gonna lie, when I get upset, or, you know, annoyed by something. Typically, I need to find a way to channel my hate towards that something, whilst also filling time with something useful. I don't like feeling completely unproductive, so... I mean, it's a fancy way of saying I emotionally eat, but I, I typically don't, you know? When I'm actually emotionally down, like if I'm super sad about something, or I'm uh, really pissed off at someone or something in real life, then, you know, that's it's, it's not a cause for me to eat my feelings or anything like that. But when it comes to this, and really, like, figuring something out, I have to be doing something productive while I'm just thinking, you know? Anyway, I think we've got this now aspire to be like essentially whereas BTD6 is like a main thing for me but then beyond that you know I'll try out a bunch of other different games randomly but oh wait we can actually regain lives did we lose any lives I guess we probably didn't knowing my luck but um but yeah a lot of a lot of BTD uh, tubers are quite sort of voiceless and, and faceless Admittedly, I'm I'm faceless in these videos because I asked you guys and you said, you know, adding adding a face cam doesn't really add much to a uh, an Odyssey video, which I think is completely fair. Um, it's kind of pointless to do it. It's not like my facial reaction matters in in just going through an Odyssey. You know, maybe if it was a scary game, you want to see my face look like absolutely terrified and shit scared. Or in like another game that's heavily story related, maybe a lot of plot twists and things, you'd want to see my reaction to those types of things, but uh, yeah, for Odyssey's definitely not needed. But um, yeah, it just surprised me how many... Oh, do we have like zero camo lead popping power? Oh, don't tell me that now. Actually, you know what, that is fine. Surprisingly. I think that is fine. Because we can, we can swap up what we've picked. We, we literally have the power to sell and rebuy. Which is hilarious. Because I never thought we had that. Right, so you can't... Let, let's suss this out. Let's find the weakness, right? Spectre has its missiles, and its darts, and camo detection. Which means it can pop camo blacks. It can pop camo leads. But it can't pop black camo leads, so it's struggling with DDTs. And this guy can't see camo at all, which explains the deficiency. Right. Um, so... Well. Get rid of that. Uh, we're not gonna get a Flying Fortress, we will swap out for a Sky Shredder, I would say. Obviously, camo detection, Sky Shredder should make the difference, I would say. And let's hope that we still have only used two towers and a farm. Because as far as I'm aware, that bug has been fixed, and I'm very grateful for it. So this should be able to shoot anti-Moab missiles right at the DDTs. Yep, beautiful. Alright, problem solved. High fives all round. Oh, that just gave me flashbacks to the first time I watched Jacksepticeye. Oh, that's fun. Alright, so 14 out of 20. Wait, what? Yes, that's correct. Sorry, I really took a while to process that and I was gonna be annoyed for literally no reason, but 
Yes, so we've got 14 towers now to solve these last three maps. Let's try this again. Wizard going down here. And then we will place a sub. Also, if this doesn't work, I am turning on monkey knowledge and trying this again. This is sort of my last ditch effort because this, this strategy worked well on paper. And by on paper, I mean when I implemented it, it got me to round 35 and we did pop the Moab with good time. The only problem was the cleanup, as usual. But I feel like if there is a wall of fire right here, instead of where I had it before, then there's a chance. There is a chance, and I will take it. Okay, come on. Wall of fire, please. Anytime you feel like it, game. Or rather, when you, you know, make the money. Very nice. Right, now we need a banana farm ASAP. song over again and again and again and again and again again oh all right come on banana farm okay very nice very nice Right, now with this, we should be able to afford greater production without taking too much damage. We will still take some damage. It's almost a guarantee. But, uh... It might not be the worst case scenario, honestly. Okay, cool. Right, now we get twin guns on this bad boy. As well as extra range and I mean really extra range so that purples are slightly less of a problem cool now we go for our heavy hitter we go for the big boy our good friend and no just good friend the plane. The plane? The heli. Oh my god, I can't believe I fucked that up on our first date. Right. Let's give you the camo detection. Because let's face it, it's cheaper to get it for you than it is for the, the big boy here. Oh my god, that hurt. That hurt quite a lot. Okay. Down to 18 lives. Cool, cool, cool. We can, we can manage with that. Okay, nice, nice. Until we get the... There we go. The laziness cure. Okay, nice. Brilliant. Love it. Keep it going. 10 out of 10. Alright, so we should, in theory, be able to afford Moab Shove right before round 35 here. Without any, any troubles. Purples will be trouble, but hopefully not a long-term one. Cool. Okay, wizard and sub have that covered. Very nice, very nice. And, like I said, boom, mob shot. 
cool. And so now I think mid round 35 we might be able to get air burst darts. If I've planned this all out correctly. Yep, yep. I have indeed. Cool. Right. I really hope this change in wall of fire position has actually made a big difference. Because that's essentially all I've changed from my last run. Which is kind of scary. Oh, honestly, that is pretty good. I think maybe I need to control the heli myself. Okay, let's try it with monkey knowledge. Turn that on, and we'll see how we do. Does it make a dramatic enough difference? As you can see, it is turned on now. We've got free. So does that make a big enough difference to the towers we currently are using to uh, make this level doable? Because the wall of fire will now be consistently refreshed, which is nice. Nice little bonus there. Uh, I don't know about the buffs to helis and, and subs too much. I know air burst darts will split into four now, which is good. But I don't know if that'll make the cut. I guess we'll see. Okay, there it is. And... Wow! Okay. Go team monkey knowledge. I don't even... I don't even... I don't even care at this point. It's, 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 it's working. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Like, typically when I use monkey knowledge and it gets me through a level, it's more bittersweet because I didn't want to use monkey knowledge in the first place. But in this scenario, I'm just happy that this round is over with. Round 35 is over with. I know it's, I know we're not out of the woods yet, but still, I'm just ridiculously happy that that round is done with. Alright. I guess we need to follow it up with something strong, huh? Dragon's Breath? Pretty strong. Shimmer? It does lead to something strong, but I don't know if it's suitable for this map, to be honest. Okay. Uh, we could get APD. APD would actually really help us with that fortified one. But man, just the difference in monkey knowledge is is nutty. I really didn't expect it to be that big of a diff. But holy shit. Alright, let's get our APD. Deals bonus damage damage to Moabs and Ceramics. Which is exactly what we need right now. If I uh if I need to remind anyone. I think we will go bottom path wizard. And that will severely help out with both camos and and purple popping power. If we do that. So let's let's go for it. Admittedly it won't help out too much when we get to 45 though. 45 is going to be the biggest pain. Maybe we do need a dragon's breath. More of an ability centered uh, approach. I guess we can try it. No harm. Okay. Round 40 should be fine. But, yeah. With two of them. Might not be the easiest thing in the world to do. But with APD, thinking it's possible. Oh, yeah. It's very possible now. Holy shit. We actually have a chance. You, like, you don't understand how happy I am. I know I don't sound it, but that's just because I've spent all of yesterday and all of the day before attempting this. This has been a nightmare. A literal nightmare. Like, don't get me wrong. I've... I've seen that other YouTubers can do this without any monkey knowledge whatsoever. No powers, no instas. And so if you are looking for that guide specifically, 
I would highly recommend going and checking out some other YouTube videos because other people have done this. It is possible. However, I am I am not a uh, I'm not one of those losers that look at someone else's strategy and immediately copy it and just go yes this is mine no I refuse to do that and so I'm doing it my way and my way is difficult my way doesn't actually do it very well without monkey knowledge so oh camo purples man the sub needs to handle those all by itself that is difficult Sorry if I'm grumpy today, guys, but, uh, I think it's a fairly natural response when you've been trying to do a map with custom rounds for a few days now. I was way too late to use the Phoenix, to be honest. <laughs> Why the fuck? <laughs> My brain's melting, man. My brain's melting. Right, strong. Spectre. Go. Alright. I need to activate it later. Not too late. But later. So not here, but here. Or something. <sighs> Fuck it. Okay. Actually did it. Oh my fucking god. Wow. That, I was not expecting to work if you couldn't already tell. Cool. We need money. Desperately. Holy shit. That actually worked. Alright, well, keep it coming. Keep it coming. We're safe until 50. But 50, I believe, is a single BFB. So we might even be able to beat 50. But we'll see how we go. See, that's the funny part. Regular camo balloons on their own are fine. It's literally just camo purples. Like, right there. And even then, our sub does a great enough job on his own. It's just the fact that it was mixed in with Moabs. But I don't... It would be highly unlikely for us to see any more camo purples with that timing again. Of, you know, a fifth round or something. It'd be unlikely. But, you know what? We'll see, we'll see. Okay, we're not using our ability here, because doing so would kill us easily. Okay. I'm just glad we don't have to collect bananas anymore. Right, this is round 50. Typical regular Moab, except there is a BFB hunting it down as well. So that's cool. Uh, we'll try not use our ability, because I believe the Moab shove can hold a BFB in place. I don't think it can push it back very well. Oh, it can push it back a little, but it can hold it in place. Four Moabs? Yeah, no shot. Cool. But we do have a lot of money to deal with that threat. 13,000. That's a pretty good amount. That's a pretty good amount. We could get Comanche Defense. We could get something with this Spectory. Let's try Comanche Defense. Because it did get a heavy buff. In comparison to... Uh, the original Comanche defense. Let's not talk about that though, because that is not something we need to discuss and debate right now. Okay, cool. Why did you call them in when the BFB... Okay, thank you. Wow. Okay, Comanche defense, you fucking legend. Oh, and I forgot, monkey knowledge means this is making lives. That's actually helpful. That's actually so helpful. Cool. Oh my god. Like, don't get me wrong. And like I've said before, there are many uh, Odyssey guides on YouTube. Like, not just my own. There are other channels. And, you know, whilst it, 
you know, obviously in the interest of me promoting my own channel, I would say, don't go watch them, watch me, I've got the best guides, blah, 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 blah. But, if you're legitimately struggling and you don't have, you know, full monkey knowledge like I do to make this slightly easier on myself, even though it still doesn't make it completely easy, then by all means, honestly, there's there's tons of other people out there that are doing monkey knowledgeless guides, you know, uh, obviously... When it comes to uh, hero selection, we are already strictly limited. Oh, one singular BFB on this round is actually fine. Oh my god, look at the damage output of Comanche defense. What? Holy shit. I mean, I knew it got a buff, but god damn. You know? And now we need to survive four fortified BFBs? But that's fine, because look at our money. Look at our money right now. We've got money to do whatever we want. Well, we don't, but we've got a lot of money, is what I was getting at. Because we can buy a freaking sub-commander if we want to. I don't think that's the solution. I definitely don't think that's the solution. But we could. It's, it's a potential answer. Okay. Good, that's good, that's brilliant. Love it, love it. Throw more of the helicopters in there. Summon six more, why don't you? Okay, let's just see how we go on this last round before we decide if, uh, what, if and when and what we're gonna do and all that stuff, you know? So, we're gonna use the Phoenix ability naturally. So we'll use it, say, here. I don't know when, when a good time would be. Probably shouldn't be on strong, but it is what it is. Okay, I can't see anything through those helicopters. Alright, we're not going to risk it. But I do have an idea for what we can do. Oh yeah, I've got an idea for what we can do. <laughs> sell that. Sell you. Comanche Commander. Damn right. I bet you weren't expecting this for a solution. Actually, we'll destroy this one. Because it's... It's the first one. Oh my god. Comanche Commander. I don't know what you're doing to me right now, but keep going. Keep going. Holy shit. Who would have thought? No, don't don't go behind the balloons. Don't go behind them. Stay in front, where you can still, you know, push them back. Yes. Oh my fucking god, we've done it. I honestly can't tell you how relieved I am that I'm seeing this right now. I legitimately love this. And despite the fact that I've had to use monkey knowledge and this video is coming out way later than expected, I'm still just so pleased to see this screen right now. <laughs> oh, even if we can't do the next two maps, even if, you know, I don't know, I fucked something up or, or like, I don't, I, I don't even know. I just, even if we can't do the next two maps, I'm just so happy I got past that one. <sighs> oh, all right, I'm gonna, are we yeah, we're gonna just dive into this. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll figure it out. Let's see what we can come up with, eh? So I say we try it. I want this guy to be a crossbow master eventually. I want this factory to go like right here, because that's its optimal spot for both paths. And then we will place a super monkey maybe around right behind it just so that its ability will be able to hit both parts as well. As, as, well. as well. All right, but first, we need to focus on our startup. Now, startup is gonna be a banana farm. Oh my God, still can't believe that we got through Dark Castle. I can't believe it, honestly can't. I know, I know, I used literally all of the monkey knowledge in the game, so I shouldn't feel that great about getting through it, but 
I'm just glad that it's over. <laughs> you know? I mean, surely... Surely you guys can relate to if you're, like, doing an assignment for school, college, TAFE, whatever, university, wh whatever you're doing, right? You've got an assignment, you know, and it's been due for a while, but you just haven't really thought about it too much. Now, all of a sudden, you've got, like, a week to do it. That's still plenty of time. If, if necessary, you could bang this assignment out in one night. You don't want to, and you're a you're an intelligent and smart person, so you're not going to. Right, so you still start it a week in advance from when it's actually due. Admittedly, that was not me in high school, but still. You start it a week in advance because you're a smart, smart cookie. You know leaving it too late will only result in disaster. Day one. Decent progress. You sort of lay out your whole assignment, you know, you, you have an understanding of what you need to accomplish each day to get it done. And so, that's good, that's good, you've, you've figured that out, that's like a big step in the right direction. Day two, you've started working on it, you know, you've got your introduction, you know, you, you're potentially working your way through to like, I don't know, the first paragraph or something. And, uh, you know, you, you've got a starting point, that is the most crucial point, the start. Once you get that ball rolling, there's not a lot that can slow it down, right? Day three, though, you start doing a bit of research and you realize the topic is a bit more difficult to, uh, to find resources for than you uh, initially thought. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> it won't slow you down, though, will it? No. It won't slow you down. Day five, you're suddenly having a bit of a panic attack because you still can't find any information. But on top of that, you've realized that after after today, there's only two days left. Right? And you and you haven't really you haven't really done anything. Then tomorrow hits, and you realize, technically, the day after that is the final day to get this shit done. So then you start you start sort of forcing paragraphs, is what I like to call it. You start forcing paragraphs, and that never ends well. Because what I mean by that is you start writing things that you think is subpar, but you'll take it if it means you're making progress. Which is a terrible strategy. Honestly, you should never use it. But it happens to a lot of people when it comes to the time crunch. And then it hits you. The final day, you haven't actually done full research whatsoever on this topic. You've only done, like, you've only read the synopsis or like the, the brief summary of the information that you found online, which is not good, it's not adequate, um, and you know this, but you're on to your final day. And this is what I call the get shit done period of time, right? This is when your brain does not give a shit about anything anymore. It does not care if you've spent like 30 minutes online, or an hour and a half online looking for answers or solutions or anything. This is, this is your moment, this is the time. You either get this shit done now, or you fail, and you know, in, in those circumstances, most students immediately make failing a lot worse than it actually is, or make it out to be a lot worse. What if I used a plane here instead? If I used a plane here instead, I'd have two super monkeys for cornfield. Is that good? I genuinely don't know. Two super monkeys and a... Two super monkeys, a dart, and a bomb shooter for cornfield. Honestly, cornfield is a more map more designed for super monkeys. Whereas this kind of isn't. So yeah, I think I might do that. Um, we'll just use a plane then. But still, it's pretty it's pretty crazy how we all Well, I say we all. Some people are really good with their assignments and shit. They can just sort of crank one out and then you know, it's perfect every time. The teachers never had a single 
problem with them, and they've never had a single problem with homework and assignments and things like that. But inevitably, uh, in those situations, you know, typically if someone if someone's life looks perfect on the outside, you can guarantee it's it's first of all most certainly not, and second of all, there's a flaw that you can't see. So there is there is something underlying. Whether it's like, oh yes, perfect grades in school and perfect relationship with all the teachers and, and friends and all that. And then at home they've just got fuck all of a social life. Or, you know, even worse than that, they've... Uh... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is actually doable. This is actually doable. Mob Shredder. Nice, nice. Clean it up, clean it up. Ooh, clean it up. Um, but yeah. Honestly, jealousy is a bitch of a thing, and naturally it happens to everyone. At some point in time, you will almost certainly be jealous of someone else. The important thing at that point in time is to not... To not let it sort of take over. Oh my god, we did it. Right? The important part is to accept that you don't have something and sort of own it you know think about what you do have what you what you potentially have that is better than what you see you know and not a lot of people can do that which i can fully understand we don't have to hang out over there anymore <laughs> um but honestly if you can if you can look towards what you do have rather than what you don't have a lot of the time you will uh You'll be much happier. You will. It's it's surprising, but you will. Like, a lot of the time I'll think about... Ooh, lead popping power is something I don't have. Okay, but, you know, sometimes you just don't... You don't worry about those things. <laughs> um, but no. Like, I don't know why this got so deep all of a sudden. Like, did I somehow get onto this from the topic of Dark Castle? Because if I did, that's strange. Um, but we're here now, so why why complain? Alright, let's use that. Beautiful. That is going to carry us quite far. <sighs> anyway. Just to, just to round off what I'm saying. Essentially, if you can focus on what you do have rather than what you don't have, you're going to be a hell of a lot happier. Plus, you can only see surface level. You know, you can't see what someone's thinking, someone's feeling, you know, who, who knows, maybe they might be jealous of you. Maybe you've got something that they don't have, but you don't know that they don't have. Because how would you know what they don't have if you don't ask them what they do have? And even then, how do you know that they'll tell you what they do know and what they have and what they know about what they have? It's a perfect way to finish off the, uh, the very deep conversation we were having. Obviously, obviously. And somehow that worked, wow. Not gonna lie, I expected Spactory to help out for the first two rounds of difficulty, but I did not expect it to help out with the third. I'm glad it did, though. I'm glad it did. And... I, uh... I know I'm not the smartest person on the planet. For example, I can't do this without monkey knowledge, and, and some people can. Um, I've seen it with my own eyes. Am I copying their strategies right now? No because their strategies would have had me finished with this, like, fucking a day ago, if I had bothered to, uh, copy them. But I didn't, because I wanted to put my spin on this. I didn't want to be a, a, a classic copycat. I wanted to, uh, do this my way. If that means I have 33 lives left and I've used all my monkey knowledge, so be it. So be it. And, you know, I will continuously advertise going to other people's channels as well because I personally don't think there's a reason to hoard information and sort of you know try and undercut other people on YouTube and things like that so uh, yeah I uh, I personally would honestly recommend if you're looking for a guide that is purely monkey knowledgeless people have gotten through this entire odyssey without monkey knowledge God knows how the fuck they sleep at night, but it's possible. People have done it. If you need it, it's there. 
it's sadly not on this channel. I wish I could provide it, but I am not of that same intelligence, and I think it would be wrong to showcase an odyssey where I've just, just took someone else's idea, copied and pasted it and said, hey, this is mine, and it's not. It's not, and I will not do that. Luckily, though, somehow my bullshit methods manage to find me a victory every now and then, and so here we are. Okay, surely Spactory can handle pink camos. It's just when it hits ceramics. Ceramics put a little bit more pressure on the old backside. Honestly, if we need to, we can now sell the Spectre and then buy a camo detected version. I just didn't think about it at the time. Buy a crossbow master for sure. Also, the removables on this map are absolutely useless. I think I already mentioned this before on previous Odysseys, but you remove this water to get more land. And you know what this land does? Absolutely nothing. You put a tower in here, it can't even see the track. The only thing this land is good for is for things that go in the air. <laughs> and we've got plenty of land to place those things anyway. So, I don't know, man. It just seems strange. Just like my methods. There is a madness to them. And you might even think I'm insane for doing things certain ways, but... In the end, I, I get them done. Uh, Alright. This, I think, should work quite well. We might even make enough money to get one of these. Which would be absolutely brilliant. Unnecessary, but brilliant. Okay, but yeah, that's that's a... It's not a terrible lineup for a cornfield play, but... We're really going to have to farm pretty hard in order to get what we want. I'm just lucky that we've sorted out things like camo detection and, and, and lead popping power early. And then hopefully we can lean into something like this guy fairly quickly on the last map. But, you know, we'll see. We will see. Do any of these... Oh, no, they don't, do they? I was going to say, because it's an odyssey, whatever whatever lives you finish with on the previous map is the hard cap of lives you can gain back to on the next map, which I think is honestly a really shitty thing. I think if you start off the odyssey with 100 lives, you should be able to regain those lives throughout all levels if you've missed them uh, or lost them, because it, it gives you a fighting chance to make a dope ass comeback. Let's face it. There's there's no other reason. Obviously they've done it this way for a reason, but hear me out. What's cooler? Getting halfway through the Odyssey losing most of your lives and then dying or getting halfway through the Odyssey losing most of your lives, realizing there's a there's a map in the middle that you can sort of cheese and make you know, make it kind of easier for yourself somehow. And then all of a sudden, you throw in some life makers, and you've just got the biggest comeback of the century, you know? I think that would be cooler than just, you know, accepting defeat. Because let's face it, if you get onto the last map of the Odyssey, and you've got like 10 lives left, if that last map also happens to be like Frickin', I don't know, Sunken Columns is a good one. Uh, Bazaar is also another good one. Um, hashtag ouch, you know. If it happens to be a map that's a big pain in the ass, then regardless of if you have 10 lives or less, you're going to lose all of them if it says no monkey knowledge allowed. You know, some, some maps I feel personally have been designed so that you have to pretty much just uh, tank a few lives in the early game. Which is fine. I've got no problem with that. But it uh, can make it difficult. It can. Now, admittedly, there's two ways we can 
think about finishing round 75 here. One of them is to see if we can do it with what we've got right now, which is unlikely. As you can see, they're just big, they're beefy, they move slowly, so they don't even make it very far before they get popped. But, maybe it's possible. I mean, we get two uses of the ability. That's, that's the benefit of them being super slow. We get two uses out of the ability, but, as you can see, pushes it. So there's two ways I see us working here. One, which I really want to try, carpet spikes. I want to see if this works. Because I'd be interested if it did. Oh, carpet spikes gets a much needed damage buff, doesn't it? I didn't even notice that. I thought it was literally just like the same thing as the last one, except its ability gets used every now and then during the round. But no, it gets a much needed damage buff as well. Rightly so, too. Oh, don't tell me it's limited to three uses per round. Oh, that is boring. That is actually boring. But luckily, I think we might be fine. Obviously, oh no, it's not limited to three uses per round. That's cool, that's cool. I don't know why it took so long to get that one out, but I'm happy with it. Brilliant. Okay, Carpenter Spikes did it. Right, last map. As you can see, my mood is perking up a bit because we've got five towers to use on the last map. One of them being a farm, which means four of them can be DPS. Right. Instead, what do we want to do? Let's go... I think that is a more appropriate start. I think we can all agree on that. Admittedly, it won't give me the banana farm on, like, round fucking two, but I'll take it. I'll take it. All we need is enough money to buy one super monkey, in all honesty. That's, that's all we need. Enhanced eyesight would be good. I don't think it's necessary just yet, but it would be nice. No word of a lie. Alright. But I'm still tempted to put the banana farm right in the middle just to just to show these balloons. Who's really the boss here? Who's really controlling the things? You know, because they that's that's the problem with these balloons. They think they're in control. They're not. They're at a set colour. They're at a set speed, and they're at a set round. We, however, have unlimited potential with these five towers that we very specifically definitely need to start off with a dart monkey with. You know, unlimited potential. <laughs> wow. It's actually good. I may have lost some money potentially just messing around trying to place that in the perfect spot. What is that noise? That is horrible. Admittedly, I do live quite close to a, uh, first of all, a railway. Uh, not, not the cool kind, though. Not the one that transports people. The one that transports stuff. So, you know, it's literally not really even serving a purpose to me personally. It, it's admittedly serving a purpose to Australia, but, uh... Yeah, it's, it's not like I can take pride in the fact that, you know, people are getting to work and making a living on that, on that train. No, one person is already at work and is making a living on that train. So, you know, ups and downs, swings and roundabouts, all that jazz, but still, good for them. Good for them. Tis a bit loud, but good for them. Right, do we save up straight for a super here? It's honestly my question. I don't think a super will fit on this platform now that we've placed the, the farm, which kind of sucks, but to be expected. How do we go with yellows? Pretty good, pretty good, nice. Good cleanup, just catch up. Oh, catch up's difficult for the, the triple. Okay, couple lives though, that's fine, that's fine. Maybe we will just concede and place the, uh, the old bomb shooter. It's not that it's a bad thing to place the bomb shooter, I'm just thinking if we can get to a super monkey right now, we may as well. Because that is much better DPS. And 
way better at holding the line, so to speak. All right, so we can get to a super monkey right now, which is great. But can we place it? Yeah, that was what I thought. Cool. So let's remove this. Let's see if we can make an extra 700. Honestly, it's doable. As you can see, very doable. However, pink balloons are a bit of a bit of a stumper. All right, but how are we doing? Oof, they can take one life from us. Owie. But we will destroy them now. It is the way of the super monkey. Let's be real. So now we will also have a bomb here, put them on strong. And we need to work on something that can pop a Moab. We really do. Admittedly, I just put two points into a marketplace. But that's besides the point. I'm, I'm working on a different strategy for a Moab. <laughs> uh, so honestly, at this point in time, we could just go for upgrading the super, which I think would work quite well against the Moab. Good thing we didn't do it right there because there was purple balloons, but it's, it's an option, right? We've got this measly little cannon boy for for leads at the moment, which isn't great, I'll admit. It's not great, but uh, it's decent. It's good enough, I would say. And I mean, the super monkey's just goaded on his own. Absolutely. So... Do we want to... What do we want to get this guy to be? I'm thinking a an insta-kill of some sort so that we can focus on farming after the first Moab. I think that'll work. So if we set you to a Moab Assassin ability, then I think we'll be good to go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Crush it, crush it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to make a song specifically using only sound effects from BTD6. And see if I could remix it well enough that people wouldn't notice. God, that'd be amazing. I would love that. Alright. So this is this is our Dart Monkey's time to shine. We know Dart Monkey can do this. He's been practicing all year. Brilliant. Absolutely flawless victory right there, my friend. Alright. This is good. This is actually good surprisingly going well. I think we're so set up for the, the Moab right now with just this one guy that we can afford to just sprinkle on a little bit of a marketplace. So let's just crush this guy right here. Admittedly, ceramics are a bit of a problem. Might push through. Okay, did push through. That's a shame. Okay. And worst case scenario, we can sell our banana farm and buy more stuff. Um... Extra range or bigger bombs? I really don't know. I really don't know. Or maybe we get a new dart monkey. Let's try a new dart monkey. Ho ho. Now this dart monkey's got some style. I think we do need to do that though. Oh, it's got a little AOE thing. I didn't know that. Oh my god, the Dart Monkey's got the... Got the moves! Got the schmoves, man. Absolutely does. Why did I think a Super Monkey could solve this Dart Monkey problem? Clearly. It's a shame, though, because our ability is... Specifically for, uh, Moabs. So despite struggle lugging a little here... We can't... We can't use our ability. <laughs> All right, let's get this marketplace up and running. Cool. I'm very pleased with this. This is going quite well so far. Bit of a hiccup on round 35, but that's to be expected. That comes with literally every map on this on this Odyssey. A hiccup on round 35. It's basically predestined. All right, let's get some laser blasts, methinks. Very cool, very cool. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. 
Oh, don't worry, it's just a scam. It's a text saying that my bank account has been suspended, which, you know, on, on the one hand, oh no, but on the other hand, I'm not with that bank. <laughs> I'm with a different bank. <laughs> so they're full of shit. <laughs> Uh, okay. A little bit of leakage there, don't like that. Oh, that scared the shit out of me though. I forgot I wasn't on silent. My apologies, everybody. My apologies. Biddly bong. Um, right, what do we want to do about this? Super range, rather than plasma blasts? Another super monkey? Could help, could help. What if we get knockback? We'll try knockback instead. That can be a good one. So we'll wait for the fortified one to get on screen. Launch it. That might just layer things and make things much more difficult. Oh no, maybe not, maybe not. Surprisingly okay, surprisingly okay, surprisingly okay. Keep it up, 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 keep it up. Nailed it. Wow. Go team. You guys are legends at this. So this is what happens if you just, you give your monkeys a bit of positive reinforcement, you know? Admittedly on, on, on Dark Castle, I was feeling down. I really was, because I don't know how many attempts I put into that. Upwards of like 20, probably, around that number, which hurts me physically to say out loud, but it's true, it's true. I put a lot of work into that. And a lot of it failed. Almost immediately. Um, but hey, you know what? That doesn't matter too much now. Honestly, doesn't matter too much. Let's place another super. And remove this to give our first super a bit more range. Not too much more, but a bit more. Let's use one of these. Ooh, it's looking sketchy, to be honest. Oh no, that was terrible timing to get plasma and camo detect. Whoops. All right. Initially thought. What if we hold on to you for a bit, right? And then sell and rebuy you later. You know, what if we use your ability, ditch you, and then buy a uh, recursive cluster? Fuck it, we'll even get heavy bombs. That deals a lot more damage anyway. Get some more range on you. Come on, surely this has it. Oh, you legends. And now we can move the banana farm to a better location and work on it immediately because we need our banana farm up and running to actually get a defense here. Come on, there we go. We just need to invest back in, back in, put it back in the system, put it back into the slot machine, put it back in the vending machine, whatever you want to do, just put it back. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Get it quickly, get it quickly, get it quickly, get it now. Nice. That should hopefully make us our money back. I don't know whether it'll do it in time or not, but we'll find out. Oh boy. A dark Knight would be lovely. In fact, I'm thinking it's quite possibly what will help us get through round 50. Which will be one BFB. I pre ordered it. Alright, so now we have this, so we can do that. Which is kind of nice. It's kind of very nice. Um, we'll keep it there for now. Just for now. See how it goes, you know? Give it a bit of a test run. Oh, it's going well. Oh, it's going very well. Uh, do we want two Dark Knights? One with extra range, one without? Maybe. Could work out, could work out. 
but I'm thinking something a bit more practical. Like a crossbow master? Probably be good. Don't get me wrong, super monkeys are dope. As you can see, it is the only thing standing between us and losing right now. But a crossbow master would just make me feel safe across the board. It really would. So let's actually see how we go with round 55, I'd say. We won't do anything until that happens, though. When round 55 hits, then we can activate something like that. Cool. So we'll see how we go. If round 55 turns out to go really well, then we've made the right choice because we've invested. And this can make its money back really quickly. So, how did we go investment-wise? Very well. Very well. Beautifully. Cool. Very nice, very nice. So now we can invest in, like, another Dark Knight. Get some epic range for this one. I know, not the greatest combo in the world. But, uh... It certainly helps us to get that crossbow master more securely. Come on. I know this can work. I know it can at this point. I told you guys, once I got that first super monkey down, it would work well, and it has so far. It really has. Okay, camo leads aren't a problem. Not for super monkey. Not for Super Monkey. Beautiful, beautiful. This will be the test. If we can get through this, we've easily won. If not, we can sell this, buy ourselves a Crossbow Master. See how we go. This will be the true test. Honestly, cleanup would be good to just be the recursive cluster, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. You absolute beauty. See, now we've put a good amount of money right where we need it because now we can get Crossbow Master without selling anything. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, I must admit, now that I'm on the last map and it's looking good, I, I'm sort of returning to my senses now a bit more. And I'd like to apologize, first of all, for, for not only having this video come out way later, because I was honestly stumped for a while. I imagine you guys would have been a little bit, uh, a little bit tricked up as well. I'd, I'd hope, you know, I'd, I'd, it sucks to be the only one that struggles at something, but uh, it's quite possible that I'm the only one here. But, um, yeah, I got, I got a little bit tripped up. I got stuck. It's, uh... I'd say it's a perfect, perfectly reasonable thing to say, but um, yeah, sorry about it coming out late, and I'm I'm sorry I've resorted to monkey knowledge yet again. Believe me, I'm disappointed with myself. It's actually probably best to have that guy over there. He's got the range for it. This guy's more damage. Whoa, that actually came quite close. I was not a fan of how close that came. But I still think we've got this easy. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, what can we get? Bomb Blitz is pretty nutty. destroys all but the biggest balloons. I imagine it still deals damage to the biggest balloons, regardless of not destroying them. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. That's what these two are for. In fact, that's what these three are for. You don't need to worry about leads, my friend. 60,000 for Dark Champion honestly would probably solo. But, uh, I don't know if we should get that straight away. In all honesty. Oh, I love that. I love that this guy can reach the ZOMGs across the map. Look at all those crits. Beautiful. And do it again. 
Perfect. Right, because we could go for Bomb Blitz, which would... Uh, I mean, it would be good. I'm not saying Bomb Blitz is bad, but we need to lose lives for its ability to kick in. I'm not sure I want to do that at this point in time, because losing lives in the late game is much more difficult to do while still living than it is in the early game. As I'm sure we are all very aware. It's easy to lose lives on round 4 and not give a shit. It's much harder to lose lives on round 76 and not give a shit. You know? Alright, but I think we will remove this. For teleporting purposes. If we do get this Legend of the Night. Oh no, it's just the Dark Champion. It's just the Dark Champion. No one said anything about Legend of the Night. Ignore that. Okay. Well, we are looking good. We're at the point where we can sell our Banana Farm to buy... A dark champion. Which is so good. But first, four fortified ZOMGs. How do we do? Let's not let's not jump to any conclusions and say that we need Dark Champion here, but I'm thinking we might. Thinking it's a possibility. That shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be disregarded. Am I correct in my assumption here? Because admittedly, I can also just do this. Which does help out quite a lot, actually. No way. Surely not. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, there's no there's no way we beat this flawlessly. Surely not. Alright, let's delete this banana farm and get ourselves a Dark Champion. We'll get it during this round anyway. I honestly didn't realise that we wouldn't afford it, but we'll get it midway. Something like that. Actually, hold up. Why did I do that? when we can do this. Cool. Why would we sell it before it gives us free money? That was, that was my bad. That was my stupidity. Okay, we're almost there. Can we afford it in time to make a big difference, though? That's the scary part. I don't know. We should be able to. Oh yeah, there it is. Put you there. Easy, right? Easy. Smoked them. Never saw it coming. Alright, now honestly at this point, I think we'll be alright. I don't think we need to replace the banana farm at all. And I don't think we need recursive cluster anymore. It's a little scary, but I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna put this right here and make it a big ability to spam for our lovely friend, the BAD. Alright. And I think we'll be good from here. In all honesty, I really did think that I would have screwed this up, but huh. I didn't. Ain't that nice? That's pretty nice. Shredded all of my DPS for anything that's not a Moab. Can see camo balloons, which I think is automatically a big win, because it means Legend of the Night can happily deal with the DDTs that come out of our big friend that will be arriving soon. Honestly, I forgot how much money 78 and 79 make. So, to be honest, we could just sell this guy for a mob eliminator. Which I think might be a good call, to be honest. Bang. One. And I could move this guy to chase this bad down, but let's see if we can do it without, shall we? It'll be an interesting one. 
Here it comes, here comes the brr. Death. Oh, you beautiful son of a bitch. Oh, damn. We do need it. We do need it. All right, whatever. Whatever. Actually, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Maybe we can do a little cheeky work around. I don't want to lose. I don't want to move this 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 dark champion. I don't know why. I just don't want to. Oh yeah, this is a good work around. Look at that. He's already he's already practically dead. Oh, he is. Holy shit. Oh man, these guys never stood a chance. The second I put this down, feel a little bad. Oh my god, we fucking did it. I can't even be super happy about it because, you know, why would I be? But still, we used every single tower perfectly. Holy shit. That is nutty. And this is our reward, supposedly. So, cool. 200 monkey money. No insta. Just uh, 100 fireworks. Although, to be fair, if you time it right, you can get a really good insta. Anyway, this has been Blimp My Crib. Sadly, we had to use monkey knowledge from here onwards. But, uh... We did it. We did it. Now let's let's reap our reward. Hey. Come on. I'm not that far into the event. Give me my thank you. Usually it opens up on its own. Right, I don't care what I get. Give me anything. Cool. Love the wizard. Uh cool. Very nice. Love the wizard again. And Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. It's better than getting a singular Insta Monkey, but to be fair, the singular Insta Monkeys can sometimes be better. Anyway, that will do it for Blimp My Crib. Honestly, I'm very disappointed in myself that I couldn't do it without Monkey Knowledge and without restarting. But, I am proud that I did it of my own accord. I've seen other people play it before I jumped into it, and so I was really worried that I'd eventually just default to their strategies, but I'm glad to say I didn't. A lot of people, well, the one video I watched on uh, Dark Castle uh, essentially used the middle path Tech Terra to just wipe out all of the uh, the difficult rounds instantly, and I'm, I'm glad I didn't do that. I'm, weirdly enough, glad I went for Comanche Commander. <laughs> That was fucking weird. Why did I do that? But it worked so well. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Blimp My Crib Odyssey. Sorry it's late. Sorry I used monkey knowledge again, but I'll hopefully make it up to you guys in the future. All right. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.